Hi. So <clears throat> today we are looking at uh, the experiment which is part of the solar geometry section um, of the kit. And here we are going to study the solar ang angles, which is nothing but the azimuth and altitude angle. So to trace the sun, uh, we would know, know as architects that we need two angles. One is the, the horizontal angle, which is the azimuth angle. And one is the vertical angle, which is the altitude angle. So these two angles we, we are going to study. So for this experiment, I have the base board here and I, I have another equipment uh, which we have custom made um, for this particular study. This is the packaging of that equipment and this equipment is known as Sun Path Tracer. This is uh, specifically designed to trace the sun's path. This experiment will help students to uh, really understand and visualize how the sun changes its path throughout the day of that particular um, basically on that particular day and how these angles also change accordingly. So this this experiment will help them really visualize that. So we are going to look at the assembly part and here mainly it's going to be the assembly of the uh, equipment that we have it's the sun path tracer and there are uh, two separate parts here one is this part and the other part here is this thing this base so as you can see this is an equipment that we have made uh, custom specifically designed for this experiment here to assemble this first we take this vertical protractor and if you can see the slot here it the protractor goes right inside this slot and there is a there is a small we have provided a small slot and this slot will go and this notch to before uh, inserting this protractor inside this slot we have to loosen this screw here so that the screw is loosened we first put this in this the notch So we have to enter this this slot here, the slot, uh, this slot and this slot simultaneously uh, to match this. Now, once I push this, I also have a uh, a screw that I need to tighten here. I have tightened this screw, and so once this screw is tightened, I can also I have this uh, screw attachment which I can tighten. So once I locate my sun's path, the whole assembly can be tightened or, or the whole equipment can be tightened at, at a single point. And from this, we can, from this, this thing, we can actually note down what is the, uh, the, uh, the azimuth and the altitude angles. We are <clears throat> looking at the uh, procedure of this experiment. So first, to start of the procedure, I will use the compass and um, I will align it with north. So currently, as you can see, this side is my north, this side is my south. I've used the compass to do this al alignment. And similarly, I will align the sun path tracer. Here you can see there are also markings on the base of the sun path tracer to align with the north. So I am aligning north with north and south with south for sun path tracer. Once I have done that, uh, the next thing that I will do is I will note down the date and time of this experiment. Currently, uh, today the date that I uh, that I am doing this experiment on is 19th, 19th December and the time 
of this experiment is 11.45 a.m. The next part that we are going to look at is to align this indicator here with the sun. So sun currently is coming from the south here from uh, the right side. I will just move this movable arm around. Now I will try to match this, in, this indicator, this vertical indicator with the sun. There is a method to do that. We will look at it uh, in close up in just a bit. However, we can say this is now aligned. So here, if you can see closely, there is, if I move this, there is the shadow of this vertical indicator here. Uh, shadow of this vertical indicator here. Now, what I will do is to align this perfectly with the sun, I have to eliminate this shadow. Once this shadow is eliminated, we can say that it is perfectly aligned to the sun. So, what I will do is I will move around this arm. I will also move around. I will just loosen the screw here and moved around, moved it around a bit. And now I can say that the shadow is eliminated and this is perfectly aligned. Once I have done that, I will note down the two angles that is azimuth and altitude. So here to note down the azimuth angle, you can see that there are markings on the base, on the base uh, protractor. And here, so if we take it from north, currently the azimuth angle is 160 degree north and here if you can see if you can come just pan the camera from this side you will look at the markings on on this side is the vertical thing i will just to to look at the azimuth angle or oh sorry to, to look at the altitude angle we will we will look at this notch here and see what it is currently matching with in the in the slot here provided we will match this uh, this slot with the midpoint of of this um, hole and that will be my altitude angle so currently it's 50 uh, 49 degree uh, that's my altitude. So this is how I will calculate these two angles, the azimuth and altitude angles are specifically for this date and this time. What I will do is I will carry out the same exercise after every 30 minutes to understand how the azimuth and altitude angles will change throughout the day and that will give me the idea of how the sun is progressing or how the sun is traveling uh, on this day, on the current day that uh, we, I'm doing the experiment. And this will also help students to really visualize the sun's path throughout the day. Thank you.